Dan, it's been a tough pre-season. The season starts properly at an Alfreton on Saturday. You must be excited for the game now. Yeah, buzzing. Um, I think everyone's buzzing around the place this uh, this week. Um, you know, it, it, it's great to get pre-season out of the way as well. Um, the, the friendlies are, are only friendlies at the end of the day and you can tell that when you're playing. Um, um, so, yeah, I think everyone's buzzing to get into the real competitive stuff now. And you have the question, don't you? How's your pre-season gone? That, that type of thing. There are good pre-seasons, bad pre-seasons. Is it a bit of a muchness for, yeah, for the lads, for, do you think? For me, I don't think you can take too much from it apart from the fact of, of, of working hard, getting your minutes in, getting um, getting as much in your legs as you can and then and then go from there. Um, as I said, like when you're playing um, the teams like we have done that are, that are up there, um, it's hard to judge where you're at because because they play so different to the type of football that's going to be coming on on Saturday and, and for the rest of the season. And in that regard, I guess Solihull was, was the the right test at the right time, really, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was a brilliant time to have that game, um, and I think you could tell in any of the fans that that went to the game that, that there's a there's a difference in the in the style of play that you have to adapt um, to what's going to come from other teams um, and I think we've done that brilliant on, on Saturday and if that's anything to go by I think we'll have a successful yeah. season And how do you feel personally in the sense that last season obviously this time last year um, you were going through obviously yeah, yeah. What, what you were going yeah. through but apart from everything else it meant you didn't have the benefit of yeah. a full pre-season didn't it? So. I think it was a very stop start last season for me um, and, and towards the end of the season I started to find a little bit of form um, <clears throat> and if we can take that into this year brilliant as, as a team and, and personally as well so um, I'm really looking forward to getting going this year and, and trying to sustain uh, my place in the team without any injuries yeah. and you don't always associate maybe the, in, the the injuries that you've perhaps picked up around Christmas time January time whatever with what happens in pre-season but the two are very much connected aren't they really? 100% yeah I mean like this year the, the um, Elliot's come in and, and he's tracking everything we do, um, <coughs> every run we do. Um, or don't. Or don't, yeah. So it's, no, I think it's massive to have pre season because it's uh, getting everything into your legs and getting your body used to what's coming for the next nine months. I know we've said this before, but in, in terms of a place to start, you're not the only lad here now to, to have played for Alfreton over the last few years, but <laughs> you know what you're going to get this Saturday, don't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know they've, uh, they would consider themselves are spending quite a bit of money I think this pre-season and, and they'll be looking to uh, to I presume be up there um, and so are we so you know it's going to be a great start to to a, a successful season for us hopefully. And it's one where you look at the fixture list and you think oh that's a really tricky way to start the season away from home but the Liza must look at it in actual fact and think yeah that's a great start. Yeah I, I mean I think it's a brilliant time for it to come because you know we all want to get our teeth right into it and, and, and get off to a good start I think that's important as well I mean you've seen in the past where um, teams have, have had such a good start that, that they've maybe not done so well in the season but they're still up there Salford for example I think they had a great start last season and uh, and then they dipped off a little bit but managed to pick up the end. I think it's really important we get off to a good start and uh, and get a few points on the board. And that fan support, it started early, 100 or so at Solihull on Saturday, that they'll travel in numbers, I would have thought. Yeah, weekend. you know what you're going to get from these fans, don't you? Like they're, they're, they're always uh, follow, following us around. <laughs> they, love, they love their football, so yeah. Hopefully we can do well for them as well this year.